Hello, viewers. It's Cynthia Marcus from School Review with Green Review and New Podcast to my seventh call, The Board Show Review. And like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly to case you don't understand me. Also, I'll try to do my best not to breach your heart during this po- RU podcast recording as well, not to cost me RU feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18, this RU podcast recording will retain for adult language. Once again, if you're under 18, this RU podcast recording will retain for adult language. Now, if you're over 18, that means you're good to watch this all these podcast recordings. So anyway, with this and everything outside the way, let's get into the latest episode of Board Hell. So anyway, this episode started off. We see Co- we see Cotton and Carlos and break it into a into a data uh, in, into a building with stealing some computer data. So basically, we broke into this into this facility in Hinton and, and stole some computer data by using a, a by using his special by using a thumb drive to steal some computer data. So basically. Uh, in the middle of the night. So basically the next day, you know, we we see Dinky and his team and we see we see Shiggy out in his team to, you know, hey Dinky talk about, you know, some 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 guy stole some computer data from a hit and least facility last night. So basically like, you know, uh, after hearing that, Charles figured that figured that maybe maybe we should, you know, was talking to you know energy and Shiggy out and she could add, maybe we should maybe we should find the guy who broke into the city and you know and bring him to justice. So basically, like you know, and 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 it's that you know the hidden the hidden least police. Police is handling this case, so why should we get involved? So basically, and 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 she could uh, and, and, and she could uh, say that besides that, this party is long gone now. So basically, like you know, but we uh, uh, but and she like whoever this thief was, you know, somehow he managed to get past the central barrier <laughs> that is uh, that's around the uh, least village that's being controlled by animals, by anything strange. So basically, the sensory barrier that can that can the 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 chakra barrier that can attack people chakra on uh, on um, 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 you know that can t- protect people chakra that that doesn't belong in the pe- in the village at all. Well, whoever the speaker is probably must uh, must have figured out how to get past that barrier. So anyway, but tell you. I totally believe that the thief was still waiting that Charles, according to Charles' intuition, he still believes that the thief is still in, is still in the village somewhere. So anyway, so so anyway, so anyway, you know, so anyway, Charles said that you know, so maybe Charles and others went to go. But Charles is expect that, expect that you know, expect that. I think I know where the, I think I know where the fish has been hiding out. They're hiding out, hiding out. So basically, Charles took the took the boys to 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 the to the tower that that Carson Cousin was hiding out when he got to the Hint Leafers and they found a when looking at this tower they found the iPad of the blueprint that you that a cousin cousin used to to use to break in with. So basically she chose his intuition was right on the money and they said they figured in so basically told him was right on the money that, you know, they found that found Cotton Cousin's hideout where he was hiding out in the village this whole time and they found proof that you know found proof that he and they found proof that, you know, a blueprint of of that he used to break into the you know, into the city into that, into that, you know, into, into that, into that storage place that where he stole that, where he stole that computer data from. So anyway, so anyway, they thought they saw a, 
this strange figure outside trying to, try to, you know, and they, they, saw, they saw a strange man outside, you know, and they went to, they went to go stop this strange figure man, but it turns out it was the cost of and, you know, and Anderson and the explain the whole situation and show him, and show him that, you know, made it, and show him that the, uh, that the blueprint that the beast used and this must be the place that the beast, you know, did then hide it out. So basically, Akaki is like, you know what? Let's work together, uh, let's work together on this, so, on this. So basically, they waited, so basically, Akaki, like, you know, let's make this an official mission, you know, uh, let's work together. So, and so it's basically Kashi worked together with, with Shigadar's team and wait for Kashi and Koji uh, for, for to come back to his little hideout. So basically, when Kashi and Koji was heading back to his little hideout, he, 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 he must have thought something was wrong and he walked away to his hideout. And you know, and then, so basically Shigadar and others went to, went to chase him down. But Kashi being, uh, Kashi Often being a very clever guy, managed to lose him in, 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 in a Macy in, in the crowd. So basically, so basically, you know, expect the best efforts, they expect their best efforts to keep tabs on Cost and Cody, but then, you know, Shiki Dollar's team lost it in the crowd. So basically, Cost and Hinze figured that, you know, this is very clever. So basically, like, no. So basically, Cost knows that, you know, he knows it's too dangerous for him to escape from, you know, while, oh, 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 you know, we know what he looks like now. So basically, He's gonna be. He's gonna take. Uh, he's gonna take a low key. Uh, a low key. Uh, a low key uh, escape route out of the village. So basically, Kashi. Uh, Kashi. Uh, Kashi Sensei assumed that he he might use the sewer to escape the to, to escape from the village because the sewer is lead to the gate. So basically, he like you know Kashi. They figured that, you know, Cotton Koji is going to use the sewers to escape, you know, to get to the main gate and, and get to the main gate and escape from the village. So basically, you know, Koji said that, you know, you know, I'll go chase him in the sewer. So anyway, Akashi was right. He, he Kashi and Koji was in the sewer, but to, but there is one and there, and that's where Chikadai realized there is no way that he can escape for, from the village while while going through the gate, the thunder train. So basically, that you know, kind of this the the, the, the series also lead to the lead to the traces where the thunder train was about to lead. So basically, like you know, Chikadai told Kashi Sinta about about the thunder train, the series also lead to the thunder train because. It doesn't make any sense for him to go to the main gate, <laughs> acting, you know, that he most likely is going to be stopped by the, by the guards at the main gate. So basically, it makes more sense for him to leave by, by the train. So basically, she goes out hunch was right, you know, they start causing coaching, coaching on the train, you know, uh, you know, got on the train. So basically, we're going to help from Trojo and her. Dancing gives you, you know, stick it out, and then managed to get on the train, and and they tried to grab Coffee and Coffee, but it turns out it was a shadow clone, so it was a decoy. You know, so basically that, you know, is that Coffee and Coffee tricked them, and tricked them, tricked them, the believing that he, he, he was going to lead the hidden list this by, by the thunder train. It turns out this whole thing was a big distraction to go through some scrolls somewhere or somewhere at some at some at some start facility. So basically he used this uh, he used this whole uh, his whole escape uh, escape uh, this whole escape attraction to try to do a scroll somewhere from somewhere at some storage facility but but Akashi Sensei but Akashi but Akashi Sensei got caught on to Carson Coaching's plan. So basically you know so basically Coffee's told you, uh, so basically, 
throw a coffee cup onto Cogan's plan and whatnot. So basically, you know, he was asking that, you know, how did you hear? He wanted to answer, like, how did you get it past? the barrier, how do you get past the century barrier and whatnot and why and why do you want the scroll for some some reason. So basically so basically coughing is causing, you know, using some cup using some shadow clones and and some, and, and some smoke screen meant to get away from a cautious century and meant to escape from the village that that day. So basically, you know so basically you know a coffee was was kind of mad that you know that co that Cogen got uh, got away and whatnot, and so basically blah blah blah. So anyway, you know, so anyway, next it seems like the next day, I believe, you know, you know, and you know, to Cho Cho uh, Cho and her gang was telling Weebase gang that you know they almost had the detruder who who almost had the detruder almost had the detruder who stole the data and whatnot. So anyway, it's so basically like so you know, Dicky and I was just was kind of bummed that you know you guys were on a you guys were on a with the Akashi Sensei and whatnot, but Chicken Tao decided to leave, she decided to leave the, um, start to leave everybody at the, at the, you know, at the pop and who went to go find Akashi Sensei, so somewhere in the outside of the park, just uh, laying down, reading one of, reading one of the, per reading one of Purdy Sage's books. Make up paradise book. So basically, Shikadav was, was talking about his speech about the thief, whoever this thief was. You know, I figured this thief must be is from the village because uh, uh, there's no way he could have got, got past the sensory barrier unless he's from the village. And also, he believes that the thief was. Uh, the thief was stealing, uh, was stealing old data or old Kenobi for some reason. So basically, so basically, Shikadab was giving a constant his face on the face, causing cozy motives and whatnot. So basically, you know, constant was like, oh, I gave you, it took Shikadab, you know, a uh, about causing cozy into consideration. And when he went back to sleep, he went back to win his book by the Purdy Sage and whatnot. So anyway, meanwhile, back at the, back at the, uh, back at the killer headquarters, uh, back at the killer organization headquarters, you know, Coffin Coffin you know, at Ottawa was talking that, you know, about his time in the Hill East Village and whatnot. So basically, like, you know, about, you know, uh, uh, um, about his time in Hinton Leaf Village and whatnot. So basically, like, Ottawa, Ottawa was talking about that, you know, Jigen is still not more harmful, that this is the perfect time to take down Jigen. <laughs> Take out Gigi. He's not uh, after his battle with you know, after his battle with you know, with with Naruto. He's still not. He's he's back in his body, but he's not 106. We're ready for combat. So basically, let's you know this is the perfect time to take out Ottawa. So basically, Cartoon comes in. So uh, Cartoon. And Kogan was like, yeah, yeah, this is the very perfect time to take down Jigen. Jigen. And this how the episode ended with, with Otto and uh, Kogan planning to take down, to, to, to take this opportunity to take down, to take down Jigen. And this how the episode ended with, 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 with Otto and Kogan planning to take down, to take down, take down Jigen once and for all. And this how the episode ended. So anyway, so anyway, this is this episode had a good setup for uh, uh, this had a, uh, this episode final the uh, the end of this episode set up the set up the betrayal of uh, uh, Adamo and and Cogan very well. So anyway, this was a good episode. So anyway, what do you guys think of this episode? Was it good? Was it bad? Was it just okay? Please let me know with the comments below this podcast. So anyway, like always, this is your Michael Screen Review. Sign off. One. Thank <laughs> you.